it is. Lives are at stake in his line of work. The heavier the responsibility is, the less freedom you'll feel. Sometimes you might even feel crushed by that responsibility. What about you? The responsibility must have felt really heavy for you in the beginning. It's the same for all heroes. Just try to imagine. What if you lost all your powers one day? See? The weight of your responsibility and all kinds of fears blitz you at once! Y you're right! If the savior of the world suddenly became completely powerless, all hell would break loose! Now, a stranger. Let's see what the doctor's current state is while you still have your powers. You sound like I'm gonna... Never mind. Did you find the Unlosing Ranger yet? I'm sure I ran over him around here. Where did he go? I had planned on returning to my country, but here I am again. Kyoya, there's a guy that's collapsed here. Oh, is it the Unlosing Ranger? No, it's just a regular guy. He's covered in blood. Whoa! Seriously? I is he dead? No. He's bloody and dying, but he's still alive. He's a man with the same level of vitality as a roach. We can't just leave him here. Doc, get to it, man. You have to fix him up. I can't. Huh? Did you just say you can't? Why? What do you mean you can't? You just showed us a really miraculous surgery performed on yourself. I was able to do that precisely because it was my own body. I can't operate on others. Huh? What the hell does that mean? I don't get you. You're a great doctor, but you're a cold-hearted one. If you fix him right up, you'll be a hero. A hero? That's the one word I least wish to hear right now. Doctor, if he's that good and can't operate on others, he's a total waste of talent and space. You should be commended for saving people from danger in numerous times. But your repeated failures and losses have caused John Noir to miss his opportunity to overcome his fear. So the mission this time around is to make Jean Noir overcome his fear of operating. If we can help him overcome that fear, he can save countless people. This mission is important. That's right. Complete this mission and come back alive only when you've obtained 100% determination. doesn't learn a hundred percent determination, he's better off dead? Let's make sure you come back alive.
Ain't your face redone now, then? Let me warn you that you really shouldn't go to Dr. Sean. He's a first-rate doctor, but he's so irresponsible. I wanted to look like a wonderful monster, but he just said, you look better like this. And... He did surgery on my face until I looked like a piece of modern art. I'll make him pay for this. This is all Dr. Noir's fault! I'm going to pound his face when I find him! So the doctor in this world doesn't have any fear of operating. He's just an irresponsible doctor. He's a doctor who ignores what his patients want? Disgusting! It doesn't matter how good he is. It's a hero's duty to make irresponsible people like that mend their ways. We have to find Bizarro Jean Noir so we can prevent any more victims from popping up. Whenever he talks, he sounds so hot-blooded and dramatic for some reason. Hey! Do you know why Pirohiko is always like that? I mean, he's the former Unlosing Ranger, but I think he's more like a clown than the most popular hero in the world. Sometimes, I really doubt if he was the real Unlosing Ranger at all. There's something happening back on Earth. Dangerama took giant dark death evil man's energy blast head on. Now he looks like he's in a really dangerous state. Dangerama! I love this pain. Come on. Fire that thing at me some more! This is bad. At this rate, it'll be a terrible influence on children. We'll receive complaints from the PTA. Seems like he's getting beat up again. We have to hurry up and clear this dungeon for his sake, too! By the way, Pirohiko, you said you were rivals with Dangerama, right? I keep wondering why you're so eager to cooperate with him. It's because we're rivals that I don't want him to fight alone. I guess if you left him alone, who knows what dangers he'd get into next. Ever since he lost his one love, he fought as if it were a way to punish himself. But I think what he's doing is wrong. His one love would never feel happy about what he's doing. If he had someone he could fight alongside, I just think he might change. I get that feeling, so it makes me want to help him. So you're rivals, but you really want to be friends. Something like that? Exactly. Like an irreplaceable bond between comrades in arms. If you can manage to become that friend to Dangerama, I think he may... never solves anything. What? I'm just having him take responsibility for that reckless surgery. Don't get in my way. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. 
This is all my fault. Yeah, you have to keep a close watch on Dr. Jean so he never performs another reckless surgery again! Dr. Jean? So Jean Noir is split up into two people here on Bizarro Earth? you taking responsibility for what Jean did? Jean and I were originally a single monster with an MD in monsterology. So you performed plastic surgery on monsters to make them look stronger? Yes, Jean was very gifted. The kind of doctor that could make a level one slime look like the last boss. That's amazing. But that's fraud. Your exceptionally wimpy looking face must be the doing of Jean, too. No, he was born with that wimpy face. Don't mind him. Well, because of how gifted Jean is, he never makes any mistakes. That puts quite a lot of pressure on me. Why? If Jean is perfect, then there's nothing for you to do. Surgeries are always a race against time. If his support can't keep up, not even a genius can concentrate on the surgery. It's like how even really great comic artists usually have assistants. Like, what if you colored outside the lines and completely ruined the author's great drawings? You could never live it down. I don't really understand that example. Worst case scenario, a mistake can cost the life of a patient. With all that on my mind, a person who called himself a hero came and freed John and me. A hero? Then it has to be that... Yeah, that troublemaker hero. I have been freed of the pressure, but the patient complaints keep rising. They beat me until I looked like this. was the one that wanted to be separated from Jean. I take responsibility for what's happened. That is why I must stop Jean from pursuing more reckless surgeries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, <laughs> that was so scary! Yeah, I thought I was going to wet myself. Incontinence Ranger! Now we know that Jean's skills were what put the pressure on Noir, causing a rift between them. So is Jean Noir's fear of operating caused by his exceptional talent? What do you mean you can't operate? When I hold a scalpel, the weight of that person's life makes it unbearable. I don't get what you're saying, man. My skills were highly regarded, and I took the lead in many difficult operations. Failure was never an option. However, I had unwavering confidence in my skills. No matter how difficult it was, I could succeed, even with my eyes closed. But that was merely an overestimation of myself. There are many lives that I have no way of saving. When I could not save my beloved wife, I realized that. Doc, so that's what happened to you. Ever since then, my hand won't stop shaking when I hold the scalpel. I falter under the weight of another's life. You've been through a lot, Doc. I'm sorry for disappointing you. This isn't the time for that. This injured guy is going to die. What should we do? He won't stop bleeding. 
The doctor back on Earth lost all confidence in himself when he learned how powerless he was in the face of death. I sympathize with his past, but at this rate, he won't be able to save the lives that can be saved. We better hurry! He's such a cowardly doctor. Why would he lose confidence just from failing... What are you talking about, you little pipsqueak? How many times do I have to tell you that the loss of a loved one cannot be compared to anything else? Just think about how you feel if your mom died because you failed at something. Mommy will go away? No! I don't want that! Ever! See? Isn't it scary just thinking about it? That doctor actually experienced it firsthand. Of course his nerves are shaky. But lots of people are counting on him right now. That doctor has the skills inside to answer to their wishes. Yeah. But before he can use his skills again, he has to obtain the determination to bear the weight of that responsibility. Responsibility and determination. That's right. We have to get both John and Noir to realize that. But Noir looks like he was about to cut someone up and blend them into juice. If we let him go, who knows what he'll do? Yeah, let's go after Noir. Oh, hi. It's you guys. Seems like you're wasting time again. Wasting time? All of this happened because you separated Jean and Noir! You better think carefully about what you did! I only granted Noir's wish. Maybe you should get Noir to reflect on his wrongdoings instead of me. Noir is trying to take responsibility by stopping Jean from performing any more reckless surgeries. If you really are trying to do what's best for Noir, you should help us. Noir thought about it and is trying to take responsibility in his own way. And let him do it alone. If you think helping everyone is the right way to go about doing everything, then you're a terrible hero, you know that? What? You're the last person I want to hear that from! Don't worry. I won't ever blame you guys for it. Good luck! That bastard is so annoying! He doesn't even know what a horrible hero he really is! But who is he? Shh, wait! I feel a powerful thought coming in. Genius? Then it's definitely not a thought from that troublemaker hero. I'm receiving it from somewhere really close. But the word genius is made for someone like me. I really don't want others to use that word so frivolously. If people like you are called geniuses, then all geniuses should be wiped off the face of the earth. Master, what brings you here? Did we screw up something? No. There's a letter made out to the Unlosing Ranger. It's a bit odd, so I brought it here. A letter? Fan mail? You haven't even beaten the last boss yet! It's way too early for you to start getting fan mail! To the unlosing ranger in the future. Have you ever given up? Have you ever run away? Have you ever stayed down? In that crucial moment, I couldn't do anything but shiver and watch in fear. 
But those brave acts and the last handshake I exchanged with the unlosing ranger make that warmth and power unforgettable. I hereby swear that the unlosing ranger will never lose. No matter how many times he falls, he will always get back up. From the unlosing ranger, a.k.a. Hirohiko Ichimonji. What is this? A letter from Hirohiko to the unlosing ranger? You wrote a letter to yourself? <laughs> now isn't that embarrassing? It's not embarrassing. It's a statement of my resolution when I succeeded the name of Unlosing Ranger. That's why it's not embarrassing at all. Who are you trying to convince? Me or you? Wait, you succeeded the name of Unlosing Ranger? There was another Unlosing Ranger before you? Yeah, it says right there I shook hands with him, doesn't it? You were just another regular bystander that became the Unlosing Ranger. Just like him? You were talking about heroes and justice, but that was just stuff you learned from the previous guy? Hey, I'm no ordinary bystander. I was a cool cop. And my hero philosophy is the result of years and years of research that I did myself. I see. So that's why your hero philosophy is so lopsided. Yeah, I was trying really hard so I wouldn't tarnish the name of Unlosing Ranger. So the previous generation was the original Unlosing Ranger? No, the man before was a regular person who received the belt from the previous. And the one before that was... Wait, what? Then how many generations back is the real Unlosing Ranger? They're all real. Me and him. Everyone who received the belt are all real Unlosing Rangers. Huh? Is that how it works for the Unlosing Ranger? Now I see why the Unlosing Ranger is called Immortal. It's all a big, phony scam. You all did die. No. As long as there are people who will succeed the belt, the Unlosing Ranger will remain the immortal hero. You're talking about succeeding the belt, but didn't you force it on him? Haha, <laughs> he's a man destined to be a hero. By the way, how did you receive the belt from the previous generation? The previous man died protecting lives. I took over his will. Completely different from you dying due to a minor traffic violation. Anyway, the belt has been passed down to you. You have to keep standing back up to fight, just like the previous Unlosing Rangers. I did it eight years ago. There's no reason why you can't today. Oh? Seems like those two are fighting over there. Hey, isn't that Noir? Jean, stop these countless irresponsible surgeries. The patients have complained so much, my face looks like this now. They beat you up real nice, didn't they? Want me to operate on your face? No, thank you. You probably don't see my face as anything other than an object for you to practice on. You're telling me to never operate again? You're horrible, Noir! I don't have anything but surgeries anymore. That's Jean? He's supposed to be a great doctor, but he's acting like a kid! Well, children are the only ones able to do anything and manage to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. I didn't tell you to never operate again. I'm telling you to stop ignoring what your patients want. You're so talented. 
So why must you continue performing such reckless surgeries? Because I'm scared. I might fail when I'm alone. I don't want to fail. That's why I want to operate however I want to. He finally realized the weight of his responsibility once he was by himself. So, he was also afraid of failing. Jean Noir back on Earth is also afraid of making the same mistake. The larger your responsibility, the larger your fear of failure, naturally. Oh? You sound like you have some prior experience with that. I do. It happened during an incident eight years ago. Eight years ago? When the unlosing ranger passed down his belt to you? Yeah, I was still a fresh recruit back then, and tasted firsthand the weight of my responsibilities and the feeling of defeat. No matter how much I tried, I felt a life slip right through my fingers like sand. You would never understand that. When everyone's hero, the unlosing ranger, was dying before my eyes, if only I had done things differently, maybe it wouldn't have ended that way. Those thoughts always cross my mind. Those feelings of powerlessness, guilt, I often have nightmares about them. And you think Jean Noir also sees the same kind of nightmares? I think so. Dangerama, too. All I have left are my operations! So, let me operate however I want. There's no point arguing with you. I can't stand it anymore. That's why I'm going to kill you! What? This is taking a really weird turn. I'm not going to take this lying down. I'll kill you back. Hold on, you two. If you even remotely consider yourselves doctors, don't talk about killing. Just use words. Don't stop us! I can't stand it anymore! I hate talking this stuff over. It's a pain in the ass. All these problems happened after you got separated, right? Then just go back to being one person and it'll be solved. I, I see. Together, once more, and... No, I can't. I'm too scared to perform surgeries with Jean. It's impossible! Noir, you're the one who said you wanted to get separated. I'll always hate you for that. There's no other way except to kill Jean. If you want to get in my way, then I'll kill you too. I won't show you any mercy either. If you don't want to die, then get out of here. They're starting to direct their anger at you. What are you going to do? There's only one thing left to do. No matter what they say, you can't stand by as they kill themselves. Then prepare yourself for a world of hurt. He's already made up his mind and has a heart full of determination, right?
Stay alert!
Stay alert! Get! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, have both of you calmed down yet? Yes. I'm sorry for making a scene. <laughs> You're actually pretty strong. But why did you risk your life to try and stop us? Two buddies were about to kill each other. As a hero, there's no way he could just sit back and watch it happen. Buddies. Yeah, we're buddies. Even if you're both heroes, you're completely different from the guy that separated us. I really don't want you to group us in the same category as that phony. We're the real thing. But now that you lost, you'll have to make up and become one again. You got that? We also want to do that. But we don't have the determination that binds us both. You don't have it? It was extracted by that hero. I knew it! So does that troublemaker hero have your determination? No! We tossed it away! Hey! Don't throw away something that important! Crap! Will these two never be able to return to normal? I'm not gonna let it end this way after coming this far! If you don't have it, then make it! You're both gifted doctors, aren't you? Do something about it! Now you're talking crazy! Oh, right! Yeah, that hero was an amateur at surgery, so he couldn't completely extract our determination. We can just use the dregs of the determination we have left in us and turn it into something whole! Wait, what? You could do that? That's kind of messed up in a way. It's possible, but I don't think I can do it alone. How about it, Noir? Your partner is saying that he can't do it alone. I am the only one able to support Jean. Then, I will do what I'm best at. You'll support me? Let's do it, Sean. Let's commence the operation. Jean and Noir, I think they'll be able to get back to normal now. Fearing failure happens only because he understands the weight of his responsibilities. But if the two of them cooperate, they just might be able to overcome it. Operation complete! We have successfully reconstructed our determination! That was fast! I knew you could do it, Jean! That was a great operation you did! I managed to do it because I had you at my side, Noir! Now their bond in the name of determination has been restored. All that's left is for them to become one again. Whoa! They combined? From this day forth, we will work together once more. Thank you, all of you. Oh? I guess determination really is something that can heal. Then why don't you get them to make your determination jump up to 100%? Isn't that kind of cheating? Well, he completed the mission, didn't he? He deserves at least some perk. You've done so much. So the least I could do is operate on you. Great. Now do it. <laughs> Wow, that was gory. I saw his eyes roll back into his head. He'll be fine. 
why don't we check what's happening on Earth while we're waiting? What was that? Kyoya, is the ambulance here yet? This doctor is useless, so we have to a hospital real soon. The nuclear threat jammed up the whole area. Why don't we drive him there? Yeah, but it would be so much better if we could get this doctor to treat him. Ow! Kyoya! My stomach! <laughs> it hurts! Wh what's wrong? Uh, are you... Is the baby coming? What? Her water is broken. Why now? Damn it! At this rate... Kyoya! It hurts! Worse than a pineapple! Doc, please! You have your tools, don't you? Come on! Here's your scalpel! You use this, right? Please, Doc! You're our only hope! I can't. My hands won't stop shaking. Damn it! Then I'll do the operation! Just tell me what to do! Well, what are you talking about? You can't perform surgery. I swore that I'd do it! Even if I know I can't. The fake unlosing ranger is protecting us all. He gets up again and again out of his responsibility to the Earth. I swore that I'd never run away. I swore that I'd always protect Mana and our baby. So please, Doc, help me! The unlosing ranger continues to stand up to face his responsibilities to the world? That's right. Now that you mention it, he hasn't lost just yet. He is still fighting. To fulfill his responsibilities and his mission to the world, he continues to stand up in the face of evil. But that can't be brushed aside as just brazen courage. It is pure determination. I have only scratched the surface of the Unlosing Ranger's fight, and used it to justify my fear of performing surgery. He has shown me what it means to be a man of power with responsibilities to fulfill and the determination to do it. I... I... I'm sorry. I had feared failure so much that I was about to forsake a life I could save. A terrible doctor. I cannot face my wife at this rate. Doc! Your hands stop shaking! Yes. I've already made up my mind. I will hereby begin the treatments for this wounded man and the mother in labor. You will help me, won't you? Of course! My kid's life is at stake here! Seems like the Jean Noir over there got over his fear of performing surgery. Good job! Thanks to you, a precious life may be saved now. Operation is done too. What? Your determination jumped to a hundred and twenty percent. Well, that is because his determination was already at 100% when we began the surgery. But since we started anyway, and because we really wanted to thank you, we boosted that number up a bit. Thanks! With this much determination, Dangerama has got to treat him like a hero. I wonder what 120% determination is like. Like if you say, ah, oh, screw it, and pee your pants because you know you can't hold it? You're back, and looking more like a hero than ever. With great power comes great responsibility. <sighs> Came up with that again? Anyway, that's why you need a level of determination that will never waver in the face of anything. After completing this mission and gaining that determination, you should know what that means now.
And you must also know that the determination you have gained is different from that of Danger Rana's. I believe that your determination will be able to make Danger Rama have a change of heart. Open up that closed heart of his. Please. With great power comes great responsibility. So power wielded irresponsibly is nothing but violence. That's righty, Tranger. Now do you understand? With the past nuclear missile and the possible mass genocide that could have happened. If it weren't for him, there would be... I know. Thanks. And I'm sorry. What the? You apologize just like that? Don't tell me you're plotting something. I'm not plotting anything. I'm thanking you for once. So just be happy that I did. Don't get to see this every day. You sure you don't mind the unlosing ranger getting more attention than the super baby? Just do what you want. That is, if you can beat the last boss. Right now, I'm just a baby that can use only a bit of my superpowers. Whoa! I never thought I'd hear something like that from you. It's a freaking miracle! I never thought I'd hear something like that from you. It's a freaking miracle! You're way overreacting, jerkwad! 